The Evolve Mortar just got released in Clash Royale and today we are going to unlock it. I brought the Diamond Pass Royale and we are going to get all the Mortar Evolution Shards needed to fully evolve this Mortar. And with this we have just unlocked the Mortar Evolution 6 out of 6 and you guys can now see the Mortar is evolved. The Evolve Mortar it has a 2 card cycle and the unique thing about it is whenever it fires a Goblin is actually attached to the Cannonball. These are the stats for a normal mortar and these are the stats for the evolve mortar. A really big thing is it has a faster hit speed. The evolve mortar has a 4 second hit speed and the normal mortar has a 5 second. It does a little bit less damage than the normal mortar but you do also get that goblin so it kind of makes up for it. Because ladder has just reset as well we are going to be using some troll decks and I'm going to show you the best evolve mortar deck this season. So let's start with a troll deck. We're going to be playing 1.6 average elixir cost a super fast cycle and I just want to spam down Evolve Mortars. Okay, straight into a game and I'm just going to play Mortars whenever I can. Not going to worry too, too much about defense, but obviously we need to play Mortars to get to the Evolve Mortar. Mortar number two is coming down and he goes with Royal Hogs. This guy has a very weird deck, but like I said, the season has just restarted, so we are going to be playing against some random decks. Mid Ladder Menaces. Elite Barbarians, Firecracker at the Bridge. Wow, okay, I was not expecting this, but we do have the Evolve Mortar right now. Now, great defense by the way I'm just cycling troops in the center and it's working but here we go evolve mortar at the bridge how does he defend this what does he do we're going to find out okay he puts down a bandit but you guys can see that goblin is actually distracting the bandit a little bit keeping it in place allowing my mortar to keep firing and okay not bad it's on the tower I'm actually very impressed so we didn't win the game like I said I think it's pretty balanced the goblin is just a nice little bonus but let's go with more mortars and try and get another evolved mortar onto the field okay so after some more cycling we have another evolved mortar let's put it at the bridge like a skillful individual and it's locked straight onto the tower that is fantastic going to try and activate my king tower here with the firecracker that is beautiful Goblin is doing some work, but again, we don't take the tower. Going to have to cycle a fire spirit, go for a log, and we are just going to spell cycle this guy out. Going to win our first game with the Evolve Mortar, and there we go, a very easy first game. We reached Challenger 2. So obviously, this was a troll deck. Let's use the best Mortar deck. I think this deck is going to be super popular this season. As we all know, Hog, Firecracker, Earthquake was very popular last season, and before Evolutions even existed, this deck was one of the top decks. Obviously, still a pretty fast cycle 3.0, but this deck has more of a flow to it. Into a game against Beto. First player of the game, let's slam a mortar. Okay, and he goes with a witch at the back. Interesting choice, and then a lumberjack at the bridge. We are just going to mighty minor that very easily. Protect the mortar. Mortar is locked onto the tower, so doing some good damage. And honestly, we are just going to let this mighty minor go. Going to go for an ice spirit here and a musketeer. Going to freeze that balloon. Go for some goblins on this witch. Take out those skeletons and hopefully take out the witch as well that is awesome musketeer coming down the lane we might hog rider in front of this just to support it and he goes with a mega knight okay again mid ladder menaces mega knight is super easily countered though with a mighty minor and afterwards we are going to okay he froze was not expecting the freeze cheese but here we are i think the mighty minor still melts it and then we go with a mortar here yeah really bad freeze from this guy Mortar again locked on to the tower doing some good damage and this is why I'm saying this is going to be the best mortar deck this season. It's very controlling and also very easy to play. You just have answers all the time for everything. Anyway, we are one card away from that evolved mortar. So I'm going to play a mighty miner at the back. He goes for a lumberjack and then a balloon push. So we are going to ice spirit the balloon goblins to make the lumberjack go away and then he might freeze here and if he does that's okay but he doesn't okay nice we are going to hog rider here we are going to evolve mortar opposite lane musketeer should finish the tower off going to defend this lumberjack again mighty minor in front just protect that mortar and the faster hit speed of the mortar is nice i have to admit the fact it's firing out these cannonballs faster is super good nice ability there we did some extra damage and we are actually going to take the entire left side tower there with just an evolved mortar. Honestly, he waves the white flag. I'm going to throw him the good game. And right now, my impressions on this card is it's not too game changing. If your deck can beat mortar decks anyway, you're going to beat the evolved mortar fine. But it is a nice little bonus helping you win the game easier. Another deck we are going to try out is minor poison control. Obviously, with the evolved mortar, again, this deck was super popular, but kind of fell off because of the evolution. So maybe the evolution's 
Ice can bring it back to life. Okay, going to start with an Ice Spirit at the bridge. He goes Goblin Bow Hog Rider first place. So we log away that Goblin Bow very easily. And then Goblins on this Hog Rider. Going to Miner onto his tower. Hopefully the Goblins can get protected. And then we are going to Mortar Opposite Lane. Apply that Opposite Lane pressure. And... Okay, Mega Knight. Yeah! He just ignored the left side. I mean, we are going to Valkyrie here. Valkyrie is going to take care of everything because Valkyrie's broken. I'll see you guys in the next game. Into another game. First play, I want to Mortar at the bridge. I don't think that's a good play, but because I have the evolution in my deck, I want to play Mortars whenever I can. Anyway, he towers or powers at the bridge and Miners onto my tower. We take care of all that very easily. He might have a Minor Control deck just without the Mortar and that would be okay. Minor Control Mirror Matchup. We are going to poison all that really good poison value also hitting the tower and we are back around to the mortar so i'm just going to mortar at the bridge once again because like i said i think whenever i can i just want to mortar he goes for a valkyrie obviously distracting the mortar that's well played and then an executioner okay so we are just going to play my very own valkyrie here Obviously going to take care of his Valkyrie and the Executioner very easily. And next time we see the Mortar, it will be evolved. So hopefully that can be the overpowered thing we need. Going to do the same thing as last time where I Miner onto the right side tower and then Mortar on the left. See what he does. Tower of Power at the bridge. Mortar plus the Goblin. Can it take it out? Probably not. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about. If like your deck already can defend Mortar, the evolution isn't going to be too amazing. Granted, that was probably a bad Mortar on my end. I should time them better, but okay, let's pre-poison here. The Goblin Gang, easy, easy. Queen is still alive and hopefully she can connect, but not quite. Going to Mortar at the bridge here. He goes for Bats, Wall Breakers, everything. Really good Miner from this guy, allowing those Wall Breakers to connect. He distracted both towers with that Mortar. That was well played. But we are back around to the Evolve Mortar. So we are going to Queen here and then go for an Evolve Mortar at the bridge. Going to kind of put dick the tower of power at the bridge there with a ice spirit but here we go we should be okay goblin is doing work going to minor onto his tower going to cycle 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 going to just log away that goblin gang and even after all that we still do not break through properly okay we get one shot goblin is still chipping away though that's nice yeah i'm going to stand by my statement it's kind of mid and honestly this game's just turning into a bit of a minor cycle chip game with minor poisons but yeah my of poisons won me this game not the evolve mortar this guy played well i will give him that like credit where it's due but you know an evolved firecracker wins you games by herself and we get the emote Woo! the evolved barbarian emote here's a closer look for all you emote lovers but yo that's going to wrap it up for today the evolved mortar i'm standing by my statement it's kind of mid i am going to use the evolved mortar for the entire season so maybe i'll change my mind as the season progresses but the goblin on top of the cannonball is just a nice little bonus it's not game breaking. And yo, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Of course, subscribe if you have not already. And as always, make sure you guys take care, brush your hair, and peace out. Whoa!